Hey y'all, welcome. Welcome back to part two of today's artistic license. We are playing some more Final Fantasy X-2. Okay, I have a snack here. I have a snack you can see right there. I'm gonna start eating it once it cools a little bit, but for now, we're just gonna get into the game. All right, here we go. Let me turn my controller back on. So where we left off, we should be at 31.4%. So I'm just gonna go check that. I'm just gonna go check that. Uh, yes, we're at 31.4%. Okay, fantastic. Thank you so much, Beldum. Thank you so much. Okay, so we just finished off the Calm Lands. So we're gonna go board the airship. And the next spot, we're gonna we're gonna hit up a couple of we're gonna hit up a couple of like really quick spots that there's not too much to do there. So we're gonna hit up Kilika Island first. Now, since this is a new Yevon run, this is not typically what you'd see for Kilika. The Gullwing. Was it not? Sphere hunters that give back spheres. Don't you think that's a little odd? If you're going to side with New Yevon, you might want to leave before something unfortunate happens. Wow, Donna. Wow. Okay. So you literally can't get through. Um, yeah. They they make you leave. You cannot go to Kilika. You do, cannot go to Kilika in this chapter on a New Yevon run. They will not let you. But you can get these two chests. So we can get some mana tablets, and then we can do the chest here in the back. Right here. And we can get a turbo ether. And that's and that's it. And that's it. That's all you can do in Kilika here if you do a new Yevon run. So uh sorry Kilika peeps. Alright. We need to check the percentage. That should have gotten us um a little bit of percentage. So let's save and make sure that that's what happened. Okay. Let's check our file. Okay, yes, 31.8. That is what we're supposed to be at. That gives us 0.4%, so we're at 31.8 now. All right, next place we're going to go is we're going to go over to Pavel. So Kilika has rejected us. They said, fuck you. You sided with New Yevon. What the heck? Um, hopefully people in Pavel will console us and tell us, no, 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 you know, you made the right decision. You did it right. Okay, yeah, let me ride the, the little... Let me ride the little ski boat thing. Yay. All right, let's go in here. Too bad it doesn't take me like all the way into Bavel. I still have to do lots of walking. <laughs> so nor so when you do the youth league, which is what most people do, there's not really much to do in Bavel in this chapter and you can do more stuff in Kilika instead. But um, since we chose New Yevon, we cannot do that. But we can come over here and we can talk to these guys. The Kindergartians are searching Bavel from top to bottom. No treasure can hide from us. Sorry, but I don't think there'll be any treasure left for you, Lady Yuna. But you can't walk away empty-handed. Here, have this. You can get a cat's bell. That's it. That's what you can get. You can get a cat's bell. Like that. That's, that's it. <laughs> you can't even go in here, I don't think, in this chapter. Yeah, I can't let anyone pass. It seems something's happened. Uh, but as to what, I haven't the foggiest. Okay, so that's it. That's all you can do in Bavel. You don't even get any percentage points for it. You literally just get the cat's bell accessory. <clears throat> all right. Speaking of that, however, let's actually look at our accessories. It's been a minute since we've done that. I want to make sure we've got good ones equipped. Um, let's sort them. All right, what does Yuna have on? She's got on muscle belt and silver bracer. She's a warrior, so... We could put two muscle belts on her. We could put two muscle belts on her. Uh, what else do we have? Yeah, that's what Cat's Bell does. It recovers HP while walking. Let's just put... Let's put two muscle belts on her. Okay, Riku has silver glasses and the circlet. She doesn't really need the circlet if she's doing... Mm, yeah, we could do that. Muscle belts are for the win. She Hulk smash, that's right. True. Okay. Uh, she can still guard against darkness. That's fine. What has she got? Magic and magic defense. Do we have a better? Yeah, we have circlet, so we can switch to that. And then, 
let's raise her MP. Okay, I think that's better accessories for what we're doing right now. Okay, so that's that's it for those two little areas. Very quick. Very quick. We have to run all the way back. I guess we could have taken the taxi. I forgot about the taxi. We could have taken it down this little path. <clears throat> All right, next stop is going to be Luca. We're going to head over to Luca. And here, there are a couple of things to do. We do have uh, people that we can do publicity with. So this lady right here, we can do publicity with her. She does the third one. And then matchmaking, she does the second one. This lady right here, for publicity, she does the fifth one. And for the matchmaking, she does the third one. And then if we come down here, this chest is here again. And we can get some light curtains. And there's a fun scene here. Let's watch while I try my snack. Hello and good afternoon, Luca. Very good. This is Shalinda bringing you all the latest news from throughout Spira. These days, everyone's talking about the groups battling throughout Spira for control of the spheres. Let's start with the Youth League. From its leader, Maven Nuge, on down, their ranks are made up mostly of former Crusaders. Fresh off its attack on Kilika Temple, the Youth League is sending shockwaves throughout Spira. Pairing off against them is none other than New Yevon. All eyes were on them after the New Yevon chairman's sudden resignation. Chaos seemed inevitable. But their newly appointed leader, Praetor Berylai, has held them together with utmost finesse. Another group turning a lot of heads is the Machine Faction, an Albed organization. They've managed to distance themselves from the sphere struggle embroiling Spira. But their unmatched technological prowess could well be enough to dramatically shift the balance of power. And let's not forget the LeBlanc Syndicate, the gang with a style all its own. Headquartered at Chateau LeBlanc in Guadalajara, its agents span the globe. But lately, there's one group in particular that's been drawing all kinds of attention. That's right, the only group led by a high summoner, the Gold Wings! That's me. And now, here's today's special guest, High Summoner Yuna. What? Huh? I was just watching. Lady Yuna, your concert the other day was nothing short of spectacular. Well, it was sort of me up there, but not exactly. Puzzling words, to be sure. And speaking of puzzling, why the sudden career change to spear hunting? It sounds like you caused quite a stir with that disappearing act you pulled on Besaid. And I'm very sorry about that. Rumor has it you left the island looking for clues about a certain young man. Anything you can share with us? Um, it's a secret. Very hush-hush. Sounds intriguing. Doesn't matter what you answer there. It's a long story. But I like to say it's a secret. I'm sure it is. One can only imagine the fascinating tales that led to you becoming the leader of the Gold Wings. Hold it right there! I'm the leader! Me! Gold wings, we rock you! <laughs> hey brother, Whoa. what's up? This thing on? It's shaping two morons right now. This is just a toy compared to the things I've invented. Tell us, is it true that the Gold Wings have thrown their support behind New Yevon? That statement is kind of true, but not really! No! Uh, we don't want to get caught up in other people's problems. So many questions left to ask, but I'm afraid we're out of time. Our thanks to today's guests, High Summoner Yuna and the Gold Wings. Poof. Not bad. You should have joined in too. Yeah, it was more fun watching. Lady Unit, great interview. Thank you so much for helping me out. 
This You're welcome, Shalinda. Consider it a token of my gratitude. Covetous garment grid. So, how long you been doing this? Well, after the calm came, the temples were in decline. At first, I thought the best thing I could do would be to help the temples get back on their feet. But everyone just ordered me around. I got tired of it. You couldn't just tell them no? That's the part of me I wanted to change. I made up my mind to leave the temple and come here to Luca. They needed people for this and they asked me to help. So, here I am. Another job you were asked to do? I suppose nothing about me has really changed after all. Oh, I gotta run. Mm, my next assignment is about to start. See you later, Lady Yuna. She complains, but you can tell she enjoys it. Hmm, sounds a bit like uni, don't you think? No. Really? No, I hate this. I hate this line. Riku, you know how strong-willed Yuna is. You know. Dr. B, care to give us your opinion? This is so dumb. The hardest person to know is yourself. Hey, cut that out. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Okay. That was really good. I'm going to go look at what the name of that thing was, and I'm going to also clean up my plate, and I'll be right back. Give me, like, two seconds, you guys. Like, two seconds. All right, we're back. Putting my gloves on. So that scene we just did in Luca, um, <clears throat> that's for percentage points, so that's what you want to do for there, and to get the garment grid as well. So next we have to do um, talk to people for the publicity. Today in things my partner and I talk about, can we have a real Leviathan megafauna thing? The answer seems to be only if it's an invertebrate. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, why don't we have vertebrae megafauna anymore? So sad. So sad the planet can't handle it. I wish it could. Those things are cool. Okay. Um, we need the... There's a boy over here. Yeah, this kid. You can do publicity with him, and he does the fourth one. And then this dude in the brown over here. You can do publicity for him, and it's the fifth one. <laughs> and then we're going to walk all the way into the stadium. With some of the same people from in the stadium, we can do PR points with. There's the guy that appears from here. There he is. Hello. You can do publicity from him. Does the third one. And then the lady sitting up on the bench up here. You can do publicity with her and she can do the second one. And then for matchmaking, she can do the second one. Okay. Then we can go up to that one area with those other two. So you gotta go two screens. It doesn't matter, left or right. It's the next screen after that. For context, my partner's trying to design a deep-sea scavenger leviathan for a story, and I'm trying to science it out and finding it's impossible the way we want it. Well, then you should just do it anyway. Rule of cool. Rule of cool. It doesn't have to be real. Okay, so this lady right here for publicity, you can do the fourth one. And then for matchmaking, you can do the second one. And then this guy that's walking around up here, he can also do publicity. <laughs> oh, not matchmaking. Publicity. There we go. For publicity for him, you can do the first one. Okay, and that's what we actually need to do in Luca. <clears throat> so let's go save and check our percentage. So I think it's on this side? There's a save point down one of these. Yeah, it's on this side. So let's save, and then we should be at 32.6%. So let's use our little fancy tool, and let's check that. Oh, this is the first time for the episode of this, this tool. Okay, let me show it. Okay, if you haven't seen it before, here's the tool. It's this website right here, 
and you put your file in, you click check it. So you can see we're at 32.6%, which is exactly where we should be. So you can see like your fractions of a percent there, like that you can't normally see in the game. <coughs> Sorry for that. It was a little, that the curry was like a little touch bit spicy, not very spicy, but just enough to get my nose going, of course. All right, so let's board the airship. While we're trying to make the science make sense in basically everything else about the ecosystem this in this story, so it'd be weird not to do that here. Oh, I see, I see, I see. We could have a Leviathan creature if it lived in the higher ocean habitat, though, so maybe we'll have to redesign the concept. Yeah, you can live in a different area. Um. So yeah, that could work. You know, and maybe the rumors about it are different than the reality. You know what I mean? Because that happens in, in the real world. Like, when we're wrong about stuff, it's because, like, the perception is different than the reality for that animal. So maybe, like, they believe things about that animal that are not true for some reason. But you you guys, as authors, know what it really is like. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the Thunder Plains. Thunder, 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 Thunder Plains. All right. <clears throat> This is a very annoying mini game that you do not have to do, but I'm going to torture myself with doing it. We're gonna calibrate the towers, you guys. To get the garment grid for here, you have to calibrate five of the towers. And there are five of them that I think I can do successfully, but we have to attempt all of them. So here we go. I've been trying to calibrate the lightning rod towers, but it's more trouble than you think. All I gotta do is push buttons in the order shown. Still, it's taking a lot longer than expected. At this rate, who knows when I'll finish. Maybe we can help. You mean it? You're a lifesaver. Okay. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna head over to the travel agency. You got any questions about the calibration or how well you've been doing at it? Come ask. All right, let's try this. Here we go. Calibrating the tower. Press the buttons displayed. Okay. Yay, okay, that's the first one. That's the easiest one. And we did it. Okay, uh, no, we don't need to cal calibrate it again. <clears throat> okay. Um, there's also some treasure chests. The first one I think is behind this cactuar guy over here. True, also the definition of deep sea is scientifically different from the deep sea in human perception. That is also true. Um, let's see. Uh, so we have something... Oh. So we have something that travels deeper down during the day. And into shallower waters at night. We can have a deep sea critter for sure. Yes! Okay, that would totally work. That would totally work. <clears throat> and humans would still consider that a deep sea critter, even if sci like scientists wouldn't, layman would. Okay. Yeah, it's behind here. Alright, echo screen. So you get echo screens from there. Okay, let's go to the second tower. You could use a bath. Yeah, you could use a bath. Get clean. Yeah, I think that could totally work, Koneko, because then narratively it is a deep sea creature. Well, 
What's up, Sid? Uncle Sid, what are you doing out here? What? You blind? Can't you see him trying to sulk? Uh. Come on, Uni. Let's go. But uh, leave him. It's because because I we trashed him before. It's Xanarchy. Yep. He's all bent out of shape because you told him off. That's mature. Very. Okay, let's go back to the second tower. So that little scene right there that you do with Sid, that's what you want to do for percentage. <coughs> okay. Let's see if we can do the second tower. Okay, when they reach the middle, when it flashes. Okay. Oh, shit. I'm already fucking up. Fuck. Yep. Okay, let's do that again. I know I can do this one. I've done it before. Damn it. Those last few are so hard. Okay, let's try again. Oh, God damn it. Again. Ah. Okay, let's try again. This is definitely one of the easier ones, so I've got to do it if I'm going to get the garment grid. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm just not on point today. Okay, let's try it again. I know I can do this one. Okay, whatever. You know what? We're, we're not. I'm not doing it. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. <clears throat> I need practice, clearly. Okay, no. Get we're just gonna go. <laughs> Thanks, Lunar. Thank you. We're just gonna attempt each one. Okay. I'm not gonna bust my butt trying to do them when I'm clearly, like, not on point right now and I need practice. So we're just gonna go through and attempt each one. Um, and see what happens. I'm not going to sit here and try it over and over and over again until we have finished attempting all of them, and then I'll decide what we want to do. So the ones, the ones that I know that I can do that I find the easiest is one, two, three, six, and nine. So, oh, Chocobo! Catch that chocobo! Yay, I caught him. Bam, bam, bam. <clears throat> okay, here's tower number three. This is another one that I know I can do, but we'll see if I can actually do it today. <laughs> This is a memory one.
What? I did not press that. Yay, we did one. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the encouragement. Okay, so this is one we can do this one. I knew it. Okay, no, you don't we don't gotta do it again. <clears throat> okay, there is behind here, I think. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, there it is, I see it. There's ten total, and we've only attempted three so far, so if that tells you anything. <laughs> um, okay. Do that and let's do Geshel Cranes on the Chiboka bow. Catch him? Yay, I caught him. We want to catch as many chocobos as we can. Well, as many bold chocobos as we can. So we're going to have to go check and make sure that they're bold after we're done with the Thunder Plains. But um, we want to catch as many bold chocobos as we possibly can. This is for later. In chapter five. So like way later. Okay, this chest right here. Some potions. All right, here's tower number four. This is a tower that I know is difficult. So all we have to do is attempt. We do not need to pass it. I didn't see it. Ha! Huh. It was on Riku. Where'd it go? Oh, I'm not seeing them sometimes. Anyway, we got pretty close with that one. No, we're not going to attempt it again. We're just going to attempt them all once, and then we'll see how many we have, and we'll come back and try to do like the, some of the easy ones like that we didn't do, like two or four. <clears throat> I just really full, full on science doubt how a gigantic scavenging ocean creature could exist. It could exist. It could exist in the real world, Koneko. It could. <clears throat> I believe it. Sperm whales are basically leviathans in real life. All right, this is tower number five. Tower number five. A little bit of Yuna in my life. Damn it. Oh my god. Ah, I'm really bad at pains one. No, no, no. We're just attempting. We're just attempting. Okay. So did you decide to do that? What you said before? 
about having it be like a different be in a different area at night versus the daytime. You could use a bath. Cause that makes sense, right? Thundaga! Oh, that means she's almost done with Black Mage! She only has the, um, Waterga spell left to learn for Black Mage. Alright, so this is a Pearl Necklace. <clears throat> Wake up. Yay! Wake up. We're gonna have to go check on Riku's, make sure of what she's learning. Oh. I guess we can potion up everybody. I was just trying to potion up pain, but that's okay. Alright, let's go look at the alchemist abilities. Okay, yeah, yeah, she can stay down there with the, the passives. Okay. So we're not going to go into the agency quite yet. I'm really just going to save, and we're going to continue on. Because there are five more towers on this side. And three more treasure chests. So there's this one right here. Some silence grenades. And then here is tower number six. clean. Yay, we did it! Thank you for the good luck, queen. I don't know if y'all could hear the meow over the microphone, but she walked in and meowed. Okay, we did that one! Hell yeah! Okay, so... 
oh exclamation um pcg will link you to the instructions for that game so you can buy more um balls if you need it hold your breath Bum, bum, bum. All right, tower number seven. Let's go. This is a hard one. All the Riku ones are so hard for me. Oh my god. I can't even do the first stupid two buttons. Like, what the heck? Yeah. Oh my gosh. it too it's a fun game okay no we don't need to redo seven there is a chest over here i think oh no it's over on the right side is this one right here it's some ethers okay this right here is tower number eight it's another fucking pain one so i know i'm gonna fuck it up my left from my right. Oh. Yep. Incomplete. No. Not doing that again. Over here is tower number nine. And then we gotta do something fun to get to tower number ten. Should be a chest around here as well, but I don't see it. Anyway, let's do this tower. Oh, where is it? Oh my gosh, I missed it. <laughs> yeah, I missed it, I missed it. Okay, we're gonna... Hmm. I didn't, I wasn't looking. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna mess it up and start this one over. Because this one I think I actually might be able to do. Let's miss miss. Okay. Pay attention this time, Karen. Yes, do it again.
Did it! Okay, I knew I could do that one. All right, no. Okay, there's a chest around here, I thought. Oh, there it is. Phoenix Downs. All right, that's all the chests here. So the last thing we have is tower number 10. So we have to go to the water for that. So I'll show y'all where to get to that. But first we're gonna kill these guys. Oversoul. Okay, so we got four out of five towers. We need five towers. So we need to go back and attempt um, tower number two or four or maybe both. We can try it. So two and four. I think we can do one of those. Okay, I think that's possible. We're gonna try to do. We're gonna try to do number two, because I've done number two before. I know I've done it. So with these towers, if you perfectly calibrate all of them, you do get different rewards. In but it's not till chapter five. So there are rewards that you get for each tower and how well you did in chapter five. So there is reason to get perfect on all the towers. However. The main prize for this area is a garment grid. And the way to get the garment grid is to perfectly calibrate five of the towers. So if you want to calibrate perfectly all of the towers, it's really just for certain accessories and stuff that you can get in chapter five. It's not really needed to beat the game because there's nothing unique you're getting from that. Okay, here we go. This tower 10, tower 10's fucking stupid. It's the memory one, but you do it in reverse order. So yeah, it's gonna be like, it's dumb, it's dumb. I hate it. Oh my God. So then you would do it like this. I accept that I don't know my left from my right. <sighs> How? If it stayed just two the whole time, it'd be no problem, but it doesn't do that. Thank you, thank you. Backwards to the end. I forgot what the first one was. Okay, this one's it's really hard, but you actually might want to get perfect on this because you do get a really nice accessory for it. But there are other ways to get that same accessory, so it's okay. It's just about trying to get multiple of that good accessory. I just lose. Yeah, I mean, you can. I just think, you know, if I'm gonna show it, like I at least wanna uh, show a, a, a normal attempt. You know, I don't just wanna lose on purpose uh, the first time. I wanna at least do it like a real try so you can see how far that I can get in the indies. Hey, Lunar. Oh, Lunar, I don't know if you if you realize this. Um, Koneko actually spends every Saturday doing um, horse riding and stuff. So she might be able to answer some of your questions about the horse things. So, like, um, I think uh, I think they actually, like, have a horse that they ride at the stables. I know they go every Saturday morning. But Koneko can tell you more. No, I mean, like, I'd try and then just lose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go back and let's attempt number, uh, let's attempt number 
two. I know I can do the first pain one. Even though the pain ones are really difficult for me, I know I can do the first one because I've, I've done it. I didn't know that. Yeah, 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 they do it. I don't have my own horse, but I have a few I ride regularly because I'm good with them. Okay, that's what, I, that's what it is. I couldn't really remember the details. Okay, is this number two? No, that's number three. Number three that we already did. Okay. This guy's number two. Chocobo! Come on, Chocobo, get caught! Yeah! Anyway, I'm available for horse questions. Yes! Pinoco can tell you all of the things about the horsies. All right, let's attempt this this one again. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Damn it. <laughs> okay, let's go try number four instead. I'm just like not on it for that one. So maybe I can do four. We just need to do one more. We just need to be successful at one more tower. Okay, let's try this one. Oh, pff, I'm... Pff, okay, wait, 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 wait. Start over, start over, start over. Start over! Okay. I can't miss the first one. That's just dumb. Okay, yeah, yeah, let's go. Where'd it go? Oh gosh, I couldn't see it. <gasps> I did it! Yay, okay, okay, okay. We did five of them. Okay, so let's go into the travel agency now. I'll show you what we win. What time? Showtime. Showtime! <laughs> Thank you, Koneko. Thank you. Yes, we did it. 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 Yay. I say we did it. So what's next? What's up, my dude? Hello. Uh, what's my calibration progress? You did it. You calibrated every last one of them. Thank you. You really came through for me. And to top it off, you even calibrated some of the towers perfectly. Here, this is for your help. I want you to have it. Samurai's Honor Garment Grid. Okay. If there's any towers that aren't perfectly calibrated yet, you just leave them like they are. Um, keep working on the towers if you like, but I'm all out of presents, so don't expect much. So this will tell you like where you are. So you can see I got 30 on one. I got 30 on three. I got 26 on two. 
30 on four, seven on number five, 30 on number six, 20 on number seven, 16 on number eight, 30 on number nine, and 18 on number 10. All right. So the only reason to do more is if you want those the certain prizes that you get in chapter five. But we are not gonna bother. We are gonna save. And we're gonna check our percentage. We should have 32.8% after doing Thunder Plains. Yes, we do have 32.8%. Okay, let's board the airship. Since we got some more Chobokobos, we're actually gonna go into the Calm Lands and we're gonna check on our Chocobos at the ranch. So let's go see what's up. So to get to the ranch, if you come talk to this little squat chocobo here, it'll teleport you. So you don't have to run across. What a dramatic little brat that horse was. <laughs> that's true, that's true. To be fair, I don't believe just hitting the soft part of the hoof can make the horse angsty like that. I hit it plenty of times and have never had a horse react more than a pretend kick. So that was probably an excuse because they didn't know why the horse was like that. Oh! That's interesting to know, Koneko, because I just assumed when Lunar first told the story to me that she was telling the truth. Okay, we sent Chocobo Runner 1 to Beacon Island, right? Well, it looks like it ran away. I'm so sorry. Yeah, they run they do run away when you do the when you send it to Beacon L, which is fine. That's what we want to do. Um, that's what it's supposed to do. So we need to go, we need to look at our chocobos. So we've got uh, let's see. We've got three of them. Can I look? Uh, let's see. Choco browser. There we go. So we've got two bolds and a normal. We need to get rid of the normal one. Okay, Chocobo Runner 3 is normal. So we are going to release Chocobo 3. We need the bold ones. The normals are not going to be useful later. So we want to get a full, throughout, throughout the chapters, from now until chapter 5, we want to get a full roster of bold Chocobos. That is the goal. Whee! Some horses are just like that. I gotta admit, there are some horses that I refuse to ride because they're too anxious for me to handle. That makes sense. I mean, it's just like how I, I love like cats and dogs, right? But they're, they, I've met cats and dogs that I don't get along with, you know? Like some of them are just like, they just, you know, you just don't vibe. Okay, next place we are gonna go is Xanarkand. We're gonna go to Xanarkand. All right, in Xanarkand, there are basically some chests to pick up and a fun little mini game to do. So we are going to go run through and Looks do that. Like business is booming. Oh, what's Pop thinking? He's thinking with his wallet. That's all he's thinking. He's not really thinking, Riku. All right, we gotta run through here and to pick up the chests. It's a minute before we get to the first one though. I would like to ride again one day, yeah. Bring it, punk. Yes, do it. I highly encourage trying if you've got the confidence for it. Yeah. And I'm sure I'm sure you have like horse ranches around you that you can go and they'll like let you ride, right? Because I know there's some around here that are like that. Okay, here's the first chest. It is a dispel tonic. Next chest is right here. We got some Phoenix Downs. Oh, didn't expect another battle. Oh no, not one of these. Okay, let's do it though. Let's try it. Don't, don't, uh, don't game over on me, please. Don't game over, I'm gonna get this behemoth. Most important part is just not let the horse know you're nervous, even when you are. Fake it till you make it is a trick. Okay, the behemoth was That's easy, it? actually. 
it was not dangerous. It's always so tricky in 10 2, like if they're actually dangerous, the big ones are actually dangerous or not. All right. This chest is a high potions. Also, this chest is here. They're not all open this time. We got some grenades. I remember these were all open last time and there was Taurus everywhere, but now it's just Asaru. Let's see what's going on. Well, hello. How's work? Uh, it's a never ending struggle. As you can see, the monkeys are multiplying. They were harassing the tourists. We had to close down. So, Pop got told off by Uni and outsmarted by monkeys. That's gotta hurt. Mm-hmm. Oh. Well, I must be going. Now you behave yourselves. Hey, if there were more of these little guys, you think the place would empty out? It just might. Beldam, you and Riku are thinking just alike. It's Operation Monkey time. All right, we got to find the monkey in love. There's also this remedy. Oh, wait, I think there was a chest before this. I missed it. I think. There's another chest after you talk to Isaru, right? There's two chests after you talk to Isaru. Am I blind? I might be blind. There it is. I knew there was two. This one's Elbom. They breed like rabbits. Oh no, poor guy. He can't fix it. Terrible. Terrible. Okay, in here we've got Lunar Curtain. Lunar. And Mana Spring. Oh, this over here. There's also this chest in this room. 1,000 gil right there. And then light curtain. Sounds like a job for a super veterinarian, that's right. It's a job for us. Let's save. And there's still a ton of chests in the treasure room, just like there were before. So we're going to open all of these, too. Elixirs. Phoenix down. High potion. Remedy. Remedy. And ether. Okay, here's our first in love monkey. Birch, let's grab him. Okay, so we have to find Birch's soulmate. This is Sky. Dawn. So we're trying to find someone that matches Birch's name. So right now, where there's a lot of monkeys, I'm just gonna kind of keep talking to them until I can like remember where they are. Stop trying to steal my gill, monkeys. God. Mini. Oh, what about who you? Spring? Okay. There's another one with like a tree name. Somewhere. Gold. Sequoia. There we go. Sequoia fell in love with Birch. Okay. And I think the next heart one is back here. There it is. Spring. Okay, so spring is looking for autumn. Summer, not summer. Goldie. Valley. A lot of horses also respond well to praise. They can tell from your tone of voice you're happy with them. Oh, that's sweet. I like to tell my horse they're being a good bean. <laughs> if they're being a very good bean, they get scratches under the mane or on the shoulder. They understand scratches better than pats because it's closer to natural behavior. Oh, that's nice. That's Arrow. I wonder if the monkeys like scritches. I bet they don't. They just like Gil. Keep stealing from me. Max. Taryn. 
I guess Spring Soul Mate is back this way. Oh, there was a monkey in this room. Autumn, there's Autumn. Okay, Autumn fell in love with Spring. Let's see if this one is where the in love one is. There he is. Okay. Dusky. Okay, Dusky, I know we match with Dawn. We just gotta find Dawn. Alina. Winter. Oh, there's Winter for Summer. Who are you? Luna. Hey, it's Luna! Oh, what about you? Silva. Silva matches with Goldie. Quiver. A quiver matches with Arrow. I feel like we talked to Dawn, but I don't know. remember where they are. It's me! Hi! <laughs> I'm the problem, it's me. That's Arrow. That big one up there is Max. Who's the other one? Terran. Oh yeah, and Terran matches with Sky. Okay, so Dawn must be further in. I'm gonna find you, Dawn! I'm gonna find you! Valley, Goldie, Summer. Maybe one of these guys? Mini. I know Mini matches with Max. Soul, Canis, Rosemary. There's Dawn. All right, the next in love one should be this way. Rosemary, okay, and time was time was up back here. Here? No. Summer. This is Goldie, okay. No, this way. They were up and in the bottom right corner. Right? Over here. Yeah, there's time. Terran! Okay. I think Sky was back here? Maybe? I don't remember. But I know Terran matches with Sky. That's Quiver. Who are you? Silva. Silva matches with Goldie. Who are you? That's Luna. That's Winter. Elena. Okay. This guy was back here. Shouldn't have come this way. Should have gone the other way. Just like cats or dog, horses respond to baby talk. That's so cute. And they understand the stern mom voice or the soothing hush now voice, which means you also have ways to reinforce your telling them off or calming them down or for telling them off a tap on the shoulder or bum is usually what works best. Be careful though, because some horses are reactive. So, horses sometimes kick, right? Like that's a thing. Peaky, peaky matches with Valley. Who are you? Arrow. We're learning so much about horses today. Okay, this is Valley. That one's Summer and the other one is like Silva. So you must be in this room. Sky must be in this room. There's Minnie. Oh, Soul. Anus. Minnie, what? There's only three in here. I thought there was more. Did I already match them up? I guess I matched them up already. There's only three left in here. Horses generally don't kick unless they have a very good reason to. Most are more likely to nip or pretend kick is a warning. Still bad. And I still tell them off if they do that. Oh, I see. Was he all the way back here? Was Sky all the way back here? Sky was all the way back here. Oh my god. Okay, well, we're done with this room. 
They're all matched up in this room. Let's find our next heart. Here we go. Minnie, I know where Max is. Minnie goes with Max, and he's over on the stairs. Here's Minnie's soulmate, the big one. Yay. No hearts here. Maybe the next heart is in the hallway. Oh, no. I guess it was back in that the big room. Oh, there you are. Summer. There's summer. Okay. And winter was back this way. You? Are you winter? No, you're peaky. I know you're quiver. Who are you? Silva. You're Luna. Are you Winter? Yes, you're Winter, yay! Okay, let's find the next heart. So this mission that we're doing right now with matching the monkeys, you can do it in chapter three as well. So if you don't get to it in chapter two, you can still do it in chapter three and get all the credit. All right, here's Peaky. And then Valley, I think was down here. Here? Yeah, there's Valley. Kenis. Kenis goes with Felis, who was all the way back at the beginning, I'm pretty sure. So let's go back there. The easiest way to avoid actual kicks is to never walk behind a horse. Most horses are very good about giving warnings. The first warning signs are nips. Oh, there goes my auto thing. Are nips um, and flattened ears, or if they don't like their belly being touched, they might start with pretend kicks or stomps instead. If I tell a horse off for nipping or pretend kicking and it warns me a second time, it's serious. At that point, I take a step back and take a short break before I do anything else. That makes sense. So he's saying like, I know you don't like this, but I don't care. I'm mad right now. I guess that's what the second one means, huh? He's serious. For real is going to kick you. Okay. This is Felis. Yes. Ophelina. All right. Who's next? Back in here, maybe? Yep. Arrow! And Quiver is over at the front of the hallway back here. Right here. Yay! Second warning means, hey, seriously, I will bite or kick if you continue, and most horses are polite enough to even give a third warning. Oh, that's nice of them. But it never let it come to that. Yeah, like why even? Second warning is enough. Okay, neither of those.
exactly. I ride this elevator over and over. Here we go. Goldie. Okay, I know where... I think I know where Silva is. Silva is back towards the beginning? Yeah, I think so. I think it's Silva and Luna back in that uh, main first hallway. Yay, Silva fell in love with Goldie. It's Luna's turn. Fun fact, horses that are nippy are more likely to bite after they've given enough warnings, while horses that are kicky are more likely to kick after they've given enough warnings. That makes sense. So a nippy horse can easily be stopped from being biting by restraining its head. I don't like doing that, it frustrates them, but sometimes it's necessary. If I can give them a bitey toy to play with while they're restrained, that makes sense. It's like if you know what they're gonna do, you can like be in control of the situation a bit more. All right, Luna, let's find Soul. I think that's him right here. Yay, Soul fell in love with Luna. Their world was veiled in darkness, but now as monkey love blossoms and grows, a monkey full future surely lies ahead. This is their home. They will protect it now and always. Yay. Soul of the, the Masa. Yay. Okay, we did it. All right, let's save. We should be at 33.2%. So let's check and make sure that we are. Yes, we are at 33.2%. Okay, fantastic. All right. <clears throat> Let's board the airship. Okay, I have on my list to do Besaid next, but I definitely don't want to. So we'll, we'll open up the next stream with Besaid. What I think we're going to do next actually is go to... Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. <laughs> let's go to Mushroom Rock Road. Let me adjust my notes just a little bit here. Okay. That should be then. Okay. All right, Mushroom Rock Road. We have some more chests down here, just like we did in chapter one. So let's first walk this way. Walk this way. All right, so there's this one right here which is a high potion. And then if we come around over here, there's also 1500 gil. Exactly, bitey horses are also usually more playful, which means they're easily distracted with toys or honestly anything they can bite. One horse I know loves tug of war with a lead rope. <laughs> and of course, who says the horses are food motivated? So almost every horse will generally stay calm when they have hay to eat. There are a few exceptions, but there almost always serves as enough of distraction to keep any horse calm during everything except sometimes saddling or hoof cleaning. Um, I have seen some hoof cleaning videos. Oh. Here, thieves, the gull wings. Watch yourselves. Hello. Sir, red what? Alert. Red alert. Why? Why? What are you thinking, Lady Yuna? How could you give the spear to Yevon? What? Some of the more hot-headed among us have convinced themselves that the gull wings are the enemy. What? You've got hasty friends. <laughs> exactly. They are too hasty in their judgment, but I still have faith in you, Lady Yuna. Thanks, Yibel. Quarters right away and ask them to call off the red alert. Farewell. Oh, when does he find time to breathe? Good question. Okay, so this is also quite different because we chose New Yevon than what you probably would see in other playthroughs. So yeah.
the the youth league um, is is gonna fight us. They're gonna fight us. They they can't handle it. They can't handle it at all. Horses can't eat well if they've bit if they're bit in. Okay, though. So, so as soon as it's time to start putting the bridle on, they have to stop eating. Oh, I see. I'm out of water. That's okay. We're gonna do mushroom rock road and then that'll be it. So it's okay. I can get more water soon. If you choose New Yevon, you get like this fancy escort instead of them wanting to fight you. They're so high headed, they literally just want to beat me up. Like, what the heck? Why? Oh, we learned Excalibur. Good. Okay, yeah, delay attack, that's fine. I'm just trying to go through to the Den of Woe, that's all. I don't want to fight you. I'm sorry I gave the sphere to your, your enemies, your political enemies, but I'm trying to be apolitical here, even though I'm super involved in the politics of the situation. It's not my fault. I'm just the main character. Can't help it. All right, so we're gonna first go down into the Den of Woe. And there's a chest right here. Some turbo ethers. And then there should be another chest down here. Yeah, here's one right here. For a phoenix down. And then there's one more. I think it's in that same spot that it was before ahead of us. You see, they just want to fight me. Why? All I did was help your political enemies. It's really not that big of a deal. It's not personal. You know, it's just kind of happened that way. I had to make a choice. The game wouldn't let me choose to keep the sphere. That's it? That's it. The kind of weak sauce. Oh yeah, there's the third chest. <clears throat> and this is an ether. All right, let's save. And let's go into the Den of Woe. <gasps> it's Nuge. Huh. Well. I see the Gullwings have guts. Our League members are out for blood. This is no place for pawns of Yevon. Wow. Pawns? The Gullwings work for no one. Right. That is just the problem. The calm comes and suddenly Spira is full of kids playing pirates. Why, you... Excuse you. I brought the calm. Rico. Never thought you'd end up a sphere hunter. It's yours. Happy hunting. Dang, new has some cheeks, though. <laughs> It's true, it's true, he does. Whoa, 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 you know him? Why should you care? Come on, there was something between you two, right? Riku, I'll say this once, okay? I consider you friends and I trust you. I even respect you, all right? I would think that it'd be enough. Well, yeah, but don't you ever want to know more about your friends? Not really. Well, I do. I do want to know more about you. What for? Who cares what happened in the past? There was something. <sighs> Come on, Payne, you can tell us. What happened? You disappoint me, Yuna. I thought you were above all that. Well, not anymore. I like asking questions. You'll lose friends. You think so? Never mind then. Yuna's always liked asking oh, questions, okay? Always. Good stuff. Confessions of a shady past. You're a pain. Minus four respect points, Riku. Uh oh, how many points left? 47. That's not a whole lot, is it? 
Why don't you figure out how to get in here instead of inside my head? Maybe we need spheres like that one to open it. It might open if we find them all. I kind of still want to know what happened. Uh, that's 46. Geez, pain. All right, so that's the scene there. So we can go back up at this point. Riku's adorable. I agree. I love Riku. I love Riku in this game and in 10. She's the best. All right. So we got to go back up out of this ravine. And we got to get to the end of Mushroom Rock Road. Oh my gosh. There. Uh, the camera angle keeps messing with me, making me run back and forth. Goodbye. Goodbye, youth leagues. There we go. Okay. Back in the right direction now. Climb. <clears throat> so that nude scene was different in this versus a um, youth league playthrough. The second scene, though, that we have with the girls are talking about Payne's past, that's not different. That was the same. Um. Then if we go down further on Mushroom Rock Road, there's also some difference after this part. So we're gonna we're gonna walk down there. So these guys, these are sleeping. You gotta walk very slowly past them. I don't want to trigger that fight. Okay. Whew! Didn't trigger it. Okay. We gotta make it to them standing down there. You can see them. See Elma in the distance? We gotta make it over to her. Charge! Why do you charge to your death? Why? I'm just gonna blow you up. Smoking's bad for you. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry. That's it. How it is. <sighs> Had to do it. All right, next. Elma. Lady Yuna, say it ain't so. What? You didn't really give the sphere to New Yevon, did you? Yeah. Sorry. What did you go and do that for? All right, men, we stop him here. Elma, hey, no. Whoa. You're gonna fight us? Elma. I am a captain after all. Don't want to set a bad example by running away. Elma, no. We're buddies. You're the one of the only people that didn't be like, did you, do you remember me? Do you remember me? Like, come on, you're the coolest. What the heck? Why are we doing this? This is so unnecessary, Elma. Oh, no. So yeah, you fight her. Basically, you fight her. Um, that's what happens. So we're gonna, we're gonna kick her ass. Bye, Elma. It's, it's not gonna last long. Just keep attacking until she's done. Ow! Her little like when you hit her sound effect. Ow! <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Okay, that's it. Fight Alma. Then we can come up here. She'll be back. Joke on jokes on you, Elma's the real antagonist. No, no. All right, then we want to come over here it's for the scene. Good. This thing's not gonna budge. I bet Yibel did this. He didn't want us to get involved in the fight. Probably. Do you think he'll get in trouble for it? Bet he's feeling the hurt. Poor Yibel. Mission complete. And we get Shining Mirror Garment Grid. You can only get that Garment Grid if you do New Yevon Run. What you think? Ready to leave? I don't know why you even ask, because I don't get a choice. Sad.
Okay, now even though we did all of that, we do have to go back to Mushroom Rock Road really quick. Okay, really quick. There is a chest that we need to get that you cannot get unless you go back. So we're gonna go back, okay? And I am going to turn off encounters so that we don't get all that from running back. Because otherwise it'll just take too long. It'll take forever. It's annoying. So we're just gonna run back. And this is the only way to get it. There's no way, because it's past that lift and there's no way to like not trigger that little cutscene that we got that puts us back on the Celsius and you know, does the mission complete and all that stuff. So we have to actually run back and avoid the stupid Malbros again. Yeah, luckily we did not actually kill Elma, so don't worry. Beldum's right. We did not actually kill Elma. She'll be okay. She's just injured. We cut her up good, though, so, you know. Hopefully she's not injured too bad. Alright, we ride the elevator up again. And it's this chest right here for a shining bracer. And I always end up having to run back and get it because I can't like walk up there and not trigger the scene. I was just making sure there wasn't a chest there. I didn't think there was. Okay. And then if you don't get don't get that treasure and you have to come back, there's no you can't get to the save point because you can't go up the lift. So you have to run all the way back. Injured and angry, you could tell her by, by her ow, true. <laughs> She's upset. She's sad she had to fight me. I'm sad you had to fight me, too. I don't think it was necessary. Um, I don't think it was necessary, but you felt it was, you know? You felt it was. So we gotta run all the way back. Try not to trigger the Malbros. Yay. Didn't trigger them. I I accidentally when I when I um played a new Yevon run on my own, I accidentally triggered that one on the left there. It's so annoying. Didn't do it this time. Good job. Okay, there we go. We made it to the save point. All right, you guys, let's check our percentage. It should be at 34.4%, so let's make sure that's true. Yes, uh, oh, we're at 34.2%, is that right? I might not have the right percentage for this area. Oh no, I know what we still have to do. I know what we still have to do. Board the airship. I know why we're missing a 0.2%. There is something I haven't done yet. We have to watch that scene. I know everything. Because we just got Crimson Report 7. So we have to watch it. Alright, let's see what this one says. Kind of sounds like Payne's voice. Hmm. 
All right, let's save again. Now we should be at the 34.4%. All right, let's check it. Yep, that was it. It's because I hadn't watched that yet. All right. For everybody watching on YouTube, watching the VODs, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. We're going to be playing some more Final Fantasy X-2 right here on Twitch next Sunday. So if you want to join me live, you can. Twitch.tv slash It's Karen Terry. All right. And always, as blah, 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 blah. Don't forget to make it a great day.